share our thoughts, feelings, ideas, and resources with one another. We must not leave here and think that this is it, that we have done enough, and that we've done our piece. Coming today is just the beginning of what should be a daily effort to pour into the women that you come in contact with. It doesn't matter how you do it. It can be anything from helping a fellow sister with a business plan, to simply sitting in her presence and encouraging her and affirming that her purpose and plan is enough to change the world. We must not get caught up in who's doing women's empowerment the right way. We must not create division as there is more than enough of that already, but we must create community where each woman is free to share her gifts in the way that she was perfectly designed and divinely destined. You come and support this event, you make Brother Ray. Without you all, there would be us. Like, we, we really, we really, really appreciate you all. And like Rodney said, it's important to support our black businesses. Because when you support a black business, you be a black family. And it's important for us to support our sisters. Genuinely, it doesn't matter how many how many followers you have, how good you are in your business, you still need to network and you still need to come out here and meet your sisters, especially in Chicago. Chicago is one of the toughest cities to live in, and for all of us to come here together, this is amazing. So let's get Everyone, this is the Insider with Nadia Simone, and we're at, here at the third annual Women's Empowerment Event for Bella Breed. Here we have Kashani. Hey. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks for asking. How's the event going? It's going so good. I'm so excited about the event this year. We added some few things that we didn't have in the past. Like I, like I spoke, like I said earlier, we we had about 50 people when we first started. Today we have over 100. And we're honoring women in our community that's doing amazing things. So I'm excited about that. The food was good. Yeah. Did you get a plate? I didn't. And I love food, so I'm going to make my way over there. <laughs> yes, yes. We had jerk chicken, a little salad, taco salad, um, meatballs. We had a lot of stuff. So. Oh, yeah, I, I definitely need to visit that after this. <laughs> so can you tell us a little about how Bella Brie got started and when did it start? Okay, so Bella Brie is a nonprofit organization. We empower women and we mentor Chicago students, high school girls. Um, we started about three years ago. Um, we started just pretty much, um, I hosted my first empowerment event. I just woke up one morning and was like, you know what? I saw a need and I wanted to change it. I realized that, you know, women in Chicago, we have to stick together and empower each other. So I started my, you know, my organization to do just that. Um, and I started by myself and then as I gradually, um, as it grew year by year, I added more women to the, um, and now we're Bella Brie. Yeah. Awesome. So who are your present nominees and your some of your, uh, I'm sorry, honorees and some of your past honorees? Okay, so in the past we have um, had Maya Organics, but her name is Monique. Um, yeah, she's okay. a natural hair uh, line. We had her, we had Hair by Natalie B. And we had Stace, uh, Styles by Stacey Lynn. Um, today we are honoring Brandy Bergen, which is an um, attorney. Um, she's really young. I think she's like 27, so I thought that was dope. Um, we have a 25-year-old real estate agent, Lauren um, Ala. We have um, Sheena Clark. She's a 25-year-old hair stylist. Yes, and then we have Jennifer um, Barnes. Her and her husband has opened up a black-owned coffee shop on um, the South Shore area. So, yeah. Awesome. Why is it important for you to have these events and um, get women together? Do you see, I know you said there was a need, and I agree. Um, do you see there's more of a need now than ever? Yes, um, definitely. Like from um, different situations, where like the story with the girls who were fighting over the guy, and she ran into him over in um, her car in a tree. I don't know if you heard about that, and passed and passed away. And we have like all this teen pregnancy going on. We have all this hate on hate in our in the women's community. So I figure, hey, if I start this organization and we kill two birds at one stone, we attack the women that's already set in their ways. You know, when you get to 25 and up, we pretty much like, you know, I don't really want to change for nobody so we invite them out to encourage them to you know open up and empower and inspire and you know stop the jealousy stop the hate and then we go into the schools where we get the younger ones before they flourish and 
bloom up to be, you know, young millennials. And um, we tell them, like, you know, how important it is to get an education or start a business or get a trade or whatever it is you want to do, be productive and do it with purpose. So that was pretty much the need that, that we saw in yeah, it's doing awesome. Well, you're doing a great job. Is there anything in the future um, ahead for the Bella Bree brand? Yes, actually, in November, we'll be having our first um, gala. Um, yes, and we're going to do that in November. And it's a percentage of our proceeds are going to go to um, children who have um, parents that are either incarcerated or deceased. Yeah, a year ago, I lost my sister um, to diabetes, and I have my niece who's here helping us. I don't know if you see her running around yes. with the skirt. Yes, her and um, her and her little brother. They were um, they're without their father. He's incarcerated, and their mother is deceased. So, um, it's a personal um, issue for me, and I want to make sure that you know these kids have something, whether we put it towards a scholarship or school back to school funds, whatever it is. So we're putting on this gala to fundraise. For them. Oh, that is such amazing. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. Man, so um going forward, do you plan to expand like nationally or yes. Yes, yes I do. <laughs> I, I want to have um a chapter in a few states. Um I, I kinda wanna do all fifty states if we if we get that good. Uh -huh. If my God is you know, my God if he give it to us, he but <laughs> he will. He's amazing. Yeah. Um I do wanna do charters um of uh, chapters, sorry, of Bella Breed. Um and I also wanna give us a roof one day. I'll open up a center for our mentors and um just you know, pretty much just keep it going that way. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. And if God bought you this far, I'm telling you, that's going to happen. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> do you have anyone you want to thank or give yes, shout-outs to? I do. I want to thank um, my team, Bella Breed. We have I have four other members that's in our organization. Um, they are the brains behind the business. Um, yes, I am the founder, but these women are also sits on the board, and they help me make a lot of decisions, and they help this organization just as much as I do. Um, I want to thank my mother. She supports me so much. Um, and I want to just thank the women that's here today. I want to thank you as well for seeing fit, for coming out here um, and actually, like, interviewing me. Um, you know, I didn't think, you know, like I said, when we started off, we were so small. I didn't think that my vision would, like, grow in a amount of three years. So I just want to thank everyone that's believing in us and that support us. And I just want to wish you the best. Keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> and where can we find you on social media? Yes. Um, so we are on social media at Bella, B-E-L-L-A underscore Breed, B-R-E-E-D. And that's Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kesha. And I wish you the best. Thank Give me you. <laughs>
customizing it and making it look like the client's own natural hairline. Perfect, perfect. Do you have any events coming up or anything we can look forward to? Yes, I actually just dropped a website, jazzyluxurywigs.com. Um, I have a photo shoot that I'm getting ready to drop, and I'm also getting ready to open up a women's beauty bar where you can come get your hair, your clothes, everything all in one. Awesome. I can't wait. So can you remind the public out here of your social medias and everything? Yes, my Instagram is Jazzy Lux Wigs. I also have an Instagram for my clothes, a Jazzy Experience Boutique. And you can find me in Chicago. And I also have my number and everything on my business cards <laughs> that I will be getting. <laughs> it was nice meeting you, Jazzy. Yes, nice meeting you, too. You did great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
amazing thing. And it just goes to show there's not one idea of what a boss is. Um, all, all of these women are doing separate things. You know, we have um, um, this young lady, she's opening a coffee shop. And when she said that, my friends came to me, like, they know me when it comes to coffee. I didn't believe she was opening a coffee shop. And to me, that's a boss. Um, I see Ashley in the audience who does, does lashes, and I see my best friend Wendy who starts her own fitness apparel. Those are bosses. Not all bosses look alike. And don't let anyone tell you that to be a boss, you have to be a lawyer or a doctor or a certain thing. Um, you don't know. You would, I hope you find out what God put you on this earth for. You find your purpose and you execute that purpose, and that will make you a boss. And last year, I lost. Um, my older sister and I was out of town to kind of like get my mind off of it and this woman in particular she first of all she showed up to the funeral and I don't even remember giving her the arrangements and I don't even I don't remember how she I just walked past and I just seen her sitting there I'm like okay so I'm like okay so she knew I was hurting but she was there anyway without me even having to say something that's a hard to find genuine people like that and when you get them you hold them near and near to your heart so we want to honor her this is a surprise honor for miss radia henderson Attention, and I don't do it for attention, and I don't do it to be seen. Um, I like doing favors for people, and I like really giving back, especially to my friends. So we're here with Radia, one of Cassie's closest friends, and Cassie gave a really beautiful speech about you, and your spirit is awesome, your personality, I got everything from that speech, and I wanted to interview you. Um, this event was really, really great, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. How did you feel it went today? I think it went very, very, very good, um, especially compared to last year. To me, it just seems like each year it continuously gets better and better. Um, more people, more positive energy, more uh, lovely sponsors, and more people just coming out and engaging. Regardless of the weather and the time of the year, the event was phenomenal, and it really empowered me to go forth with my dreams as well. Now, you um, knew Cache for a long time now. You guys have been friends for a long time. Um, did you see her vision coming to be bigger than what uh, she thought it would be? Or did you always see that for her? Absolutely. Uh, in high school, Cache always wanted to be a lawyer. So I told her, follow your dream and do what, exactly what God has put in your heart. And when she started Bella Breed, I said, you know what? That's the perfect thing for her to do because she always loved to give back to the community. She was always very empowering, very motivated, and she was very popular. So everybody knew who she was. So it, when I first found out that she started this organization, I was just thrilled. And I was like, how can I host? How can I be a part? How can I contribute? That's all I wanted to do was just give and contribute to her. So it was uh, it was destined for her to be a founder of a nonprofit organization, and she is just the spin image of what a nonprofit organization is. Awesome, awesome. Now you are. I feel like you're just the best role model as far as a supportive friend and supportive. Still have adventures as you, your own, but as a supportive friend, being there for your friend, being. You know, what in whatever events, whatever needed. I know she um, mentioned she lost her sister, and you were there. You're the number one person there, and you are a surprise honoree here. How? What advice can you give people out there who's trying to start a business and feel like they have no one? You know, that they have no one in their corner or no one's support. That's a really great question, and honestly, it starts with you. And if it's something that you want to do, then there's no reason for you not to do it just because somebody else is not supporting you. I started um, Spirit of Optimism, which is a motivational speaking platform, and it's on YouTube. And I don't have a lot of followers, I don't have a lot of supporters, but I don't do it for attention. It's, it's just something that I love to do, and it's innate in me. And when you're born to do that one thing, there's nothing in the world that can stop you. Regardless of who's not supporting, if this is something that you want, you should still do it. I just want to say you're a great speaker, and I see that in your future, <laughs> if you want to go into that. But thank you so much, Radia, Radia Nadia, <laughs> and um, I wish you the best of luck with everything. And what was your YouTube again? Spirit of Optimism. Spirit of Optimism. I'm yeah. definitely checking out, definitely subscribing. Thank you, thank <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you.